So Chris Paul is signing with the Spurs, who before he was waived by the Warriors, it was rumored that the Spurs were interested in trading for him. As soon as the Warriors waived him, they were emerged as a top team that wanted him. And most of the commentary I've seen from people is that they love the fit that uh, Wemby could be set up by Chris Paul. And I definitely don't hate it by any means. Like, I think that it's good for the Spurs to have a player like that. But just as an NBA fan, I don't really love this fit. And let me explain it, because if you're a Spurs fan and you're mad, you want to defend everything your team does, I'm not saying it's a bad move for the Spurs by any means, as Valanciunas just got signed by the Wizards. Interesting. Um, It's not a bad move for the Spurs, but I just feel like it's not necessarily what they need, because am I the only one that feels like Trey Jones is your point guard of the future? Because I keep hearing from everybody saying, uh, the Spurs need a point guard. They need a floor general to set up Wemby. And they do over Sohan. But I just feel like Popovich needs to give the keys to Trey Jones. Those Jones brothers are criminally underrated. Tyus Jones has had the best assist to turnover ratio since John Stockton. And Trey Jones has the best assist to turnover ratio next to Tyus Jones. He doesn't shoot threes quite as well as Tyus Jones, but he got the three-point shot to somewhat passable this year to where he's not just like a complete liability, can't knock down an open shot. And his defense is better than Tyus Jones to where he can defend point guards quite well. Now, like I said, adding Chris Paul as like a mentor to him, not a problem at all. It's a good move. I just am not a fan of the idea that the Spurs are prioritizing a floor general and they don't seem from all the other indications, not just this to really be giving the keys or trusting Trey Jones. Like I said, Andy Chris Paul, not a bad thing. I'm just worried about them undervaluing what they have in Trey Jones. And the fact that what I think they need is like a scorer to take a little bit of the pressure off of a Wemby because they've got a defender in the draft in Castle, not a guy that's going to get you buckets, especially right away in terms of like creating at an elite level, but they've got a, a guy whose best strength is defense. Sohan, kind of the same thing. Could do a little bit of everything, can score, but not like an elite score by any means, um, at least what we've seen so far. Keldon Johnson took a little bit of a step back this year, and they've got a couple other guys that can score a little bit, but if I'm them... I feel like Dillingham was the perfect piece and the idea that they are not necessarily interested in that type of player, it's a bit weird to me. So I like this move for the Spurs, especially if they go and get like even a Buddy Heald or somebody that can um, just help be another good scoring option, good floor spacer for them. But uh, I just would prefer from the other side, Chris Paul, to see him on a team that's a contender. Like even, I'm not a Lakers fan, but I just want to see him at this point of his career competing to try and win at a high level, a championship level, which the Spurs, unless they come out of nowhere and get like a Paul George, they're not ready to do that yet. So unless there's something crazy that has not been reported in terms of like them going after a Paul George, it's just a little bit disappointing to me as a fan because I want to see the Spurs Spurs get a score and I want to see Chris Paul go to a team that needs a point guard. Ironically, the Suns could really use him, but a team that really needs a point guard that is like that piece away from pot potentially winning a chip. Um, so, you know, as a basketball fan, I'm not as satisfied in either way because I know I'm getting probably less Trey Jones minutes again, and I'm getting Chris Paul on a team that doesn't seem to be looking to contend right now. So a little disappointing for, for me, but I, I definitely understand it. It's not a bad thing for them to have a veteran that can help set guys up and maybe help out Trey Jones. Just like I said, it's some of the signs for Trey Jones I don't love, and I would like to see Chris Paul on a contender. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.